what the Diablos. You are new in Liberty, but already you are gaining a reputation on the streets. There is a street race starting by the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge. Get yourself some wheels, and first through all the checkpoints wins the prize. Knights and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one-size-fits-all chainmail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Close. What about them? Close. What are you talking about? Lazo, clothes. Clothes, Lazo. I hate him. I just hate him. Well, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier phone-in station. But why don't you like clothes? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, there's a line where clothes, and the line is the king of the jungle. So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess the line has two distinct advantages over you. One, I mean, it's as you say, a king, and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can. But I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? Is that you? I was born naked, I'm gonna die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's so invigorating feeling the hot leather of a chair or the cool wind from the north on your naked body. I, I, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech? Free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I feel so good. Well, what about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows and it's really cold, I mean, you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the nude? No, uh, look, is this leading anywhere? Because, I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Laszlo. You can be a figurehead for Liberty City Matrix. We have more members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? I'm hanging out with loads of naked chicks. I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged as the fastest growing U.S.-run media conglomerate of the past five years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across the U.S. and the free world, alongside a wide array of...